Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, I am in the same outfit. Basically filmed for you guys a quick five, a five week pregnancy symptoms video. Hopefully you were able to check it out. If you haven't, I will definitely link it above. Anywho, it's this, this is the chit chat with me. I'm gonna be talking about my five week pregnancy updates and at the end of this video, I will definitely be dropping in a bump date Today, I feel like I have so much more energy. Uh, the last few days, it definitely has been a little bit more slow for me as it relates to my energy levels, y'all. Oh my gosh. I have 27 days until I go back to the OBs to get what I'm hoping is my sonogram, my first um, sonogram. Now, technically, I did get a sonogram um, on my four-week mark, but like I mentioned, that was due to the implantation bleeding and at that uh at that point in my pregnancy there was still nothing visible on the screen because the baby was literally the size of a poppy seed i had i did mention in my uh one of my last videos my hcg levels were super super high and i was kind of tearing in my head trying to figure out okay does this mean multiples does this mean um i'm like beyond my uh, you know four week mark is at the time I was four weeks when I took the test but um, being that I'm five weeks I definitely have been one of the one of the main symptoms that I am experiencing within this five week period of my pregnancy is back aches I don't know I don't know when <laughs> when it started but I can um I can I can honestly say I think it may have started like uh, closer to the end of my four week my fourth week uh mark within the pregnancy and y'all it doesn't matter what time of day it is that's definitely something that um i have been experiencing i definitely have been trying to take it easy uh it does hurt throughout the day it hurts in the morning when i wake up it hurts when i'm laying in the bed relieving like the pressure um so i might look into getting and right now it's still a little too early but I think I may get like a pregnancy belt at some point if it does get a little too crazy um, weight wise because I mean I'm aching like it's, it's, it's crazy. It's really insane the pain I'm feeling already uh, within my lower back. That was that's one of the things that I definitely have been experiencing um, more so now within my fifth week that I uh, wasn't really just feeling um, in my early the early fourth week. I have been experiencing major food diversion more so than last week um it doesn't matter what it is try chipotle again and chipotle was like nah sis <laughs> so i definitely have been snacking more than uh eating whole meals but i like to incorporate smoothies to make sure i'm getting the nutrients that i need and i'm gonna tell you because this is this is real <laughs> i have been experiencing major constipation yesterday i was literally like almost in tears and i was so glad uh lola was taking a nap because jay was at work luckily she was asleep and i had the time to kind of let whatever needed to process process out because you don't want to push too hard i definitely have stepped up my fiber game <laughs> So for those of you who are uh, experiencing like uh, the equivalent of period poops, because that's a real thing, definitely increase your water intake and your fiber. And hopefully like me, you will get better. It will get better. It will go away. You won't experience it too much more. Um, hopefully it subsides because yesterday was not fun. <laughs> um, I still have been, I think that's going to be throughout the pregnancy, but the frequent urination is still a thing. I definitely have been going a lot more so like early mornings and late nights. I definitely go throughout the day, but you know, I, I try to limit the water intake, um, especially, you know, right before bed. It's just, it's getting out of control. <laughs> it's getting out of control. At this point in my pregnancy, I feel like I'm still trying to process the fact that I am pregnant it kind of feels like a dream even though my body is like no sis you're pregnant <laughs> um so yeah it's definitely been a super positive experience for me thus far and um I really can't wait to go to my OB for my first official uh prenatal um, visit and I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on that hopefully I'll, I'm able to capture some uh footage while i am there but oh y'all let me tell y'all what my doctor did she did the sweetest thing 
uh, maybe was it last week before I went in for my HCG test uh, I called in to my doctor had a conversation with her and she basically said to come in on that Friday on uh, the Friday came and uh, spoke to the receptionist and she basically was just saying that my doctor uh, didn't have any recollection of <laughs> the conversation now doctors are busy they have a lot going on so I wasn't so much upset but I was just like what and uh, she did the sweetest thing so I, I wound up seeing a uh, male OB at a different location but uh, maybe a day or two ago I I was just so I just just people are cool she called and I thought I was getting the results for my HCG test and she was actually calling to apologize for the incident in which she said she didn't realize that we uh she put it in her notes and she didn't go back to her notes well i guess whenever she was talking to the receptionist about uh me coming in that day so i thought that was really sweet i thought that was really really cool i thought i'd share that with you guys as of right now i definitely have zero motivation to work out because these five weeks have been crazy but y'all i found a, a first trimester like 15 minute arm workout but she's also doing like like cardio so she's like doing lower body as well and i said you know what i'm going to try push through because that could also help me with my energy levels so definitely gonna try and do that starting tomorrow morning. <laughs> um, so wish your girl luck because you know some days are hit or miss and like I said I'm not gonna push myself too too hard but I definitely want to get into some type of routine because I was doing really really good with my workouts prior to finding out um, I was pregnant and then all of a sudden I was just like I just I feel like I hit a wall and um, now I know why <laughs> but I'm gonna try and bounce back uh, prior to the pregnancy I was 141 142 pounds now I'm up to 145 so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on the weight changes but I'm definitely trying to like I said keep it under control because my last pregnancy I gained 89 I hope this video helps somebody out there um if you are welcoming in week five congratulations on your pregnancy definitely share in the comments box below how you're feeling and how you felt in the weeks prior because i definitely find it interesting in hearing other people's symptoms because sometimes like i said my my symptoms are kind of mild right now i can kind of like work through them um i have been resting a lot more but I definitely want to know how you guys are doing out there. Definitely take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.